Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. Listen, uh, Black Heart sign of Black in again asking you to hit that share button for obvious reasons. Um, I want to remind people about uh, Merlin Santana, if I may. When I said his name, some of you know him. You remember him uh, from certain roles in which he's acted. And then, uh, Salam alaikum, sir. And then some of you may not remember the actor's name, but you might remember the character's name, Romeo, on, uh, I think it was a Steve Harvey show, or it was the, uh, not the talk show, but the sitcom from uh, a long time ago. Merlin Santana uh, was actually killed because a 15-year-old girl told her friend or boyfriend that he had approached her when he had not. And he wound up killed in California because of it. Nine days later, he was buried. I believe it was in uh, New York, if I'm not mistaken. He was killed because of a lie that a little girl told. And some would say he was 15. Well, he died. She's no longer 15, but he's still dead. And 15 is old enough um, to know right from wrong. Now, some would say it's not old enough to have adult experiences, but it is old enough to make moral judgments that are sound. And while I don't know if she knew that her boyfriend was going to kill this man, uh, I'm sure she had a better idea of what he would do than anyone else did. And he did not approach her. This is the reason why it is that we men um, should prioritize in our protection the women that we know, the women that we know and trust. If women have a right to do that with uh, their money and their private parts, and they do have that right, then we have the right to do that with our lives and our health. That's a fair assessment to make. We're not required uh, to just run off willy-nilly and grab someone without any evidence or any proof on the word of someone that we don't know. Now, when you know someone and you know they're honest, have at. I mean, you, you know what judgments to make. But on the word of someone you're really not sure about or on the word of someone who is not, uh, whose honesty is in doubt, someone you've caught lying before, you just don't do it. Because you can wind up with a murder charge and see, this little girl that did this, 15 years old, she got some time in prison. And I think she's finished serving it. She was a juvenile. Um, she got time as a juvenile. But Merlin Santana's still dead. He ain't coming back. She told the lie. Her boyfriend did the killing. Both of them were wrong. He still got a stiffer sentence, not only because he shot, but because he was older, number one. I mean, because he was older, number two. I mean, he did the shooting, number one, but then he was, number two, he was older. And let's understand this. If she had said that he made this approach and had harassed her and he didn't shoot the man, she would have been on TV talking about some. This, this actor tried to get at me and ain't nobody do nothing. Even my boyfriend, she would have left him. And this is why there are men who would rather leave women that they don't really know that well if she makes a statement like this. They'd rather just leave her, you got this, than to stay with her and be duty bound to make a decision without many of the facts on the word of someone they kind of know. And so many are gonna say, okay, here Blackheart is justifying cowards. No, I'm just justifying being careful. Because at the end of the day, people do get killed behind false accusations. One of the things I've always said is leave Becky alone because she'll make an accusation and get you killed for something you didn't do. I've always said it. Well, now, so I'm looking, Bloods. Now, I'm telling you that this can happen even when it ain't Becky. A lot of our sisters ain't doing this. The only problem is that it is enough of them doing it to where we all have to be careful because as again I've said bad options can be 1% of the population but they're always available they're always out there it doesn't matter if the crazy bee is 30% 70% or 1% you're going to run across her you got to be careful the one that's as good as gold no you, you may never come across them it took me until age 
took me up until age 42. Well, I'd say 41, actually, to meet, and then 42 to tie the knot with the one that's as good as gold. But I can tell you now, it, it didn't take me 14 years to find the ones that were kind of out there crazy. The ones that were just a little, little rotten, a little mature. But hell, by the time I got to 19, I dealt with the crazy. Uh, not just the bad and the lazy and the selfish, but the insane too. I dealt with the ones who were far worse than anything I or any close friends of mine had ever been. Because they were out there. I mean, they were hyper available. So, that being said, um, I hope that this explains. I don't really think it will, but I'm getting the blood off my hands when I say it. I'm not saying this with the expectation that the masses will agree. I'm only saying it with the expectation that I will not be guilty of what they did not understand previously. That's all. All right. Black, sign of blackout. Awesome.